let's roll initiative. Uh, Pentagi actually gets her second shot. Oh yeah, Pentagi nice. go. Fifteen. You skewer the ogre with an arrow. Roll for damage. Nice. The D eight or D seven? See one D eight. One D eight. Oh, one D eight. Seven. Excellent shot. Six. Uh, now it's initiative time. I had plus one last time, but I don't this time, right? I can't right, remember Right, because you're I not charging. Time. Right. So it's plus two. Still good. Uh, six, four. Pentagi, D10 plus seven. Uh, you got it, ten. Uh, d -d 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 December, you go first. Cool. Go oh, December. Uh, I guess I'm going... Okay, so he's blinded, so I could definitely run around behind his back. Without him nose. Yeah. So I go behind his back. Ooh, I can move me, huh? <gasps> Look at me go! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, okay, you get so behind him. And make your attack. And so it's all the same as except last time. With, except charging. without the charge. So it just d20 plus 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, okay. 7, yeah. Ooh, 23. You critical the ogre in the behind. <laughs> the behind. So what does that mean? From the behind. Uh, you would do three, 4d3 plus 2. Kill December! Kill it! 10. Oh, Man. These two rolls. Nice. I know, it's all twos. And second attack? <laughs> well, it's not ones. <laughs> the yeah, that's part. fine. Oh. Again, right. December's like... Miss. I mean, it's actually appropriate considering, like, <laughs> impan. Bay, your turn. Alright. I get close to the ogre. And I try to. Would I be strong enough to, uh, with, like, with the sweat, like, a kick, like, make him fall? You can try. Uh, so you want to trip him? Yeah, like with a, a kick, like a roll kick, whatever. Okay, so, so there is the trip maneuver works thusly. Let me explain it to you. Yeah, nice. Uh, <laughs> Your ability unlocked. <laughs> oh, actually, you way. have throws. Do you want? Uh, the, your, a trip maneuver is gonna be more effective than throwing an ogre, because okay. then you have to close, and that's bullshit. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 pull trip. Pull. Here we go. Character makes. Uh, you make a normal attack roll. If you hit, you make an opposed strength check against his strength or dexterity, whichever is better. Um, if you win, he falls down. If uh, you both fall, uh, if you both fail your rolls, it's uh, nothing happens. Or if he wins, nothing happens. If you tie, if you both succeed and tie with your strength checks, you both fall down. So, give me an attack roll uh, with your kick. Okay. So, d20 plus 5. Just d20 plus 5. Yeah, I get no bonus. Okay. <laughs> no 13. 13. He is a blinded ogre, so that hits. Give me a strength yes! check. Oh, I got strength versus a strength. Um, he gets a... Yeah. He gets a bonus for being large. For and being he gets a big. strength check, yeah. 30! 30? <laughs> Oh shit! Nice. Yes. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is. The yeah, you win. Uh, yes, you, the ogre <laughs> falls yeah. flat on his face. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy that this worked. All the versus the ogre. <laughs> this poor ogre has just been like face full of sand the whole time. <laughs> I wanted to toy with him a little bit. I could have just, you know, punched okay. him. But uh, he takes a wild swing on his turn towards, cause uh, towards Faye. What? From being flat on the ground. Oh no! But he's blinded and green. Yeah. And uh, he misses completely. Like he slams his club where he thinks Faye is. It's actually like he hits like five feet to her left. Um, and Pentaji, it is your turn. Is there any more ogre? There's one left behind, right? Well, there's this one that's you know on his face, like slamming his club down, trying to beat Faye like a whack-a-mole. 
get it over with, guys. Roll to hit. Uh, no! Um, Didn't she get bonuses for him? He gets penalties for that uh, for being blinded, but he's also prone on the ground, which gives her a penalty to hit. So no, your arrow misses him. But you get a second attack at the end of the round, so get your second attack. Please. Nope. Oh my god. Nope. Dude. Initiative. Oh, D10 plus whatever. Oh, this is great. Faye? This is start off the end. Uh, okay. December, what do you want to do? <laughs> Don't stroll. Oh, you're muted. December wants to unmute herself first. Right. Dual stabby stabby in the back. Alright. This is not a difficult thing to do. He's literally lying down on the ground. Do I get any bonuses for that? Yeah, you do. Target is... Da, 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 da. Target is prone. Uh, plus four to hit. So, seven plus four is eleven? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Only I could manage to miss with a... You Plus miss. 11. You miss. <laughs> December's like, like slams her left hand against her hip. Like, what the heck is wrong with you? Like, trying to get it to work again. Do it again. It right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's better. Okay, that's max max damage. Um, so it would normally just be four d three. But since you're a thief and you get your backstab, add another three, so that would be seven D three plus two. <laughs> nice. Come on, December. <laughs> Will you narrate something super cool that I do when this is awesome? Yeah. Oh no, oh no, I rolled wrong. I was too excited. Uh seven D three plus two. Seventeen, 17 damage. You toss your dagger up in the air, jump on the ogre, grab it, and slam it down into the base of his neck, <laughs> severing his spinal cord, and the ogre gives one final with twitch. Flourish, finishing like this, with one... You can't see me. Like, like this, with one yeah. hand up in the air, and one hand in his back. Yep. Uh, the ogre gives a final twitch before he heaves a large sigh and stops moving altogether. Okay. The battle is over. I'm looting the buddies. Right now. Uh, they have December, their clubs on them December, and some basic loincloths, and that's it. December runs to Lily and, like, cradles her, makes sure she's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't even... I, don't I even. have sand in my mouth and it tastes terrible. December brushes her sand off of her mouth. If she's at zero HP, is she unconscious? She is unconscious, but she is not bleeding to death. Yep. That's an improvement. That's an improvement. We're, we're getting there. <laughs> I should be pre-bandaged at all times. <laughs> okay. Um, fuck. Then uh, bigger scope it is, or wait, does she? She can just. We can just bend rest, and she's gonna come back to mm -hmm. HP, right? Oh, we don't need the healer. Okay. Uh, right. well, I think we need to check in with the crew. Well. Okay. So, how many ogres do you see when you? You spotted them. I only saw one and three huts, so it could be that the ogres are all gone from the island now. So we should go loot their huts or see if we can. I can well, do that on my own. How many huts were there? You said because three. how come there were only three ogres? Oh, you mean they each live in one? I guess. Oh my so. god, they are so fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go check it out, guys. Uh, well, do you guys want to bed rest while I go see if they're all gone? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So you guys bed rest, I'll go, and then when I come back, we should talk to the crew and take a vote of what they want to do, because I don't want to be mutinied again. Okay. I'm going to go bed rest. I'm bringing uh, Lily on my back. Okay, guys. I'm following... <laughs> Jess, you're so funny. Ah, funny. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> There's drool coming out of my mouth right now. So sad. So, um, what, 
What exactly are you guys doing? They're going back to the boat for bed rest. Right. I'm going back to the ogre camp to loot the huts if the ogres aren't there. Okay. Basically to see if we killed those ogres. Okay. So two days later, um, you find yourself at the ogre encampment. Um, Lily, you are awake with two HP now. Everyone else has gained... Uh, actually, Lily, you're awake with one HP, and Pentaji and Faye have both gained one HP, because you fought that first day. Um, hey, guys, what, no. what happened? Did, did we beat no. them? Yeah! Are we captured? <laughs> we saw you, Lily. What? No, I'm just kidding. You're awake. <laughs> We beat the ogre, Lily. Are you happy? Yay! Yeah. Yay. I feel like shit. <laughs> did Just... we? Did the? Did our uh, people come back? Like after we killed the ogres and they were lying there, did the people come and cheer us and stuff? Uh, yes, they came back. They... Did they cheer for us? Of course, they cheered for you. Not only have you saved them from slavers, but now you've also killed the ogres that ran and inserted, you know, trying to cause trouble. Nice. How oh, do you like us a lot? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. My people are eternally grateful, lady. <laughs> Thank so, you. So, December, you two days later find yourself back at the ogre huts. Um, the, it was a little hard to find this time because there were no footprints coming in from the shore, but you spent some extra time looking around and you remembered seeing this rock formation and eventually you figure it out. Um, uh, and you get there and you don't see anything about. They look pretty abandoned, but last time you only saw one ogre anyway. So I'm going to move silently to the hut that's like most jungly and hidden. So if there were suddenly two ogres to pop out of the other huts, it would be the least likely for me to be seen at. Mm -hmm. And okay. I'm going to move silently and peer in. Okay, moving silently. All right. So, you sneak up to the hut uh, and go around to the front entrance and poke your head in. And you see a large pile of sticks and leaves, which probably looks like, which looks like some sort of bed. As well as a, a animal hide that's been sewn together with some sort of vine that looks like a bag. Um, and you find... What else do you see in here? There is a uh, a stick that looks like it's been polished and kind of like worked in some way to be like a club. It looks very well taken care of, and wow. it definitely looks like a oh, some sort of weapon because um, it's sitting differently than everything else in the hut. And, and you see a bunch of old rotting animal bones, Ew. still with some meat on them. So I search and loot the place, starting with the bag. You open up the bag and you find a collection of seashells, uh, animal bones, uh, some actually like rotting animal meat, uh, some large coconuts, but no gold. December takes a couple bites of the coconuts. Are they tasty? <laughs> I mean, they're Are still they they're still in coconut form. They're not broken up. Well, never mind then. Yeah. I don't have time for opening coconuts. No one has time for um, coconuts. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah, except with a machete. I saw someone do it with a machete in Puerto Rico. It took them like two seconds. It was amazing. Without a machete, it's a real pain in the ass. Yeah, that's true. I did that in my kitchen once, and it almost made a big In a hole problem. in your kitchen? Yeah. <laughs> I'll cut, yeah. I'll cut your like finger off. a hole in me, yeah. yeah. I tried to open what with a hammer. No. Yeah. It worked. Yeah, I mean, there's some you... sort of special <laughs> thing you do. But then a shell get inside the coconut. <laughs> you take it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was like, ah, yeah. And it's like. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't take anything from there. But I grab that polished club thing and take it with me. I mean, it's it's a big, it's like an ogre-sized polished club. It's like four and a half feet long. It probably weighs 30 back. pounds. Then I leave it. Okay. I don't have time for dragon clubs. No, no one's got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, I go to the next hut. Same thing, moving silently, peek in first, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this cl you peek in here, and you see an ogre passed out on his face, like, sleeping. Uh -huh. um, he's not snoring, but he's definitely sleeping. Since he's sleeping, 
I <laughs> move silently, and with both of my special daggers, I slit his throat. Okay. You Tiger style. lean over, and you, just, you, know, you, you kill him. He's dead. <gasps> yes! Wait. Yes! 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 This is awesome! Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're on the cliff. Everything is awesome. Okay. <laughs> I'm so high. See. <laughs> All right. Uh, I loot that place too. Look around. Uh, more of the same, like shells, bones, nothing advanced, nothing, no metal. Do I find any really pretty seashells? Yeah, you find a, a cool conch. I take that. Okay. All right, same thing, next hut. Um, the next hut is abandoned, but it has, you know, more of the same, just like crap lying around. Uh, this actually Do I has... Do any other pretty shells? No pretty shells, but this one does have some large animal skins that are look like they're stretched across something um, to dry or to tan. Nah. Nah. Yeah. I don't bother. Yeah. I look around the rest of the camp. Any paths away or anything like that? I can't believe there wasn't anything. Yeah, ogres don't like treasure, apparently. Well, ogres not. on an uninhabited island with no access to gold or anything and no boats. I mean, they're pretty primitive folk. Um, you you check you look around. You definitely see like there's typical areas where someone would leave the encampment, but there's no um, signs of something recent. Or that is to say, okay. everything is a sign of something recent. You can't tell anything. So I don't see any paths that would lead me to believe that I could go find another ogre that had meandered away. No. Okay. I will go back to camp and tell the others what I have found. Okay. It takes you uh, another two days to get back to camp. Well, day and a half. How much did we yell from? Um, you, everyone get two more HP by the time she gets back. I'm at three. <laughs> okay. Now what? Now what? Oh my god, you slit its throat? That's so amazing, December. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> December, like, kind of looks proud. And she's like, I, bring I thought you'd like it. I bring December to, like, the village, and I'm like, she killed another! She killed another ogre! All by herself! <laughs> What? Why are you that excited, Lily? Just wondering. Because I was like, I tell Lily, I'm like, I thought, I thought you'd want me to. Lily is super happy. We have December, like, is all happy and glowing and swelled with pride because Lily's so happy with her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So what next, guys? Should would you? I don't know. I guess we can keep investigating the island. Should we go talk to the pirates? I think we should take a vote from our crew of what they want to do. Because if they're like getting antsy and they feel like we should set sail and go try to find some ships to loot, then we should do that because I don't want them to mutiny. But if they don't care and they want us to be in good fighting shape before we leave, then we can rest. Okay. Well, so if they want to... Go ahead. So you talk to your crew... Um, they understand that, you know, if you're injured, it takes a while to heal. And they're grumpy that they haven't really had much action. So they, uh, the, the first mate puts it to you. Well, why don't you just, you know, give everyone a, a small bonus to go spend in, uh, at Beggar's Cove. And, uh, you know, we can all head back there and rest up for a while. And the men can go drink and, you know, gamble and do what they want for a few weeks. They can, you know, give them all a couple of gold, and they can all just spend the time being drunk on on the shore. Okay, that sounds good to me. Can yeah. we afford that, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's let's do that. Uh, we talk to Clooney, and we say, Clooney, be sure to keep keep watch. Uh, if ogres come again, then. You're they dead. shouldn't. They shouldn't. <laughs> they shouldn't come again. But they're dumb, and I would suggest building some sort of shelter where you can hide from them. We're but trying to build our houses as fast as possible. Well, I'm. I'm fairly sure they won't come again because we, you know, we, 
we killed them all. So what happened with Clooney's voice? <laughs> Clooney just got I don't over. remember what he sounds like, so I just keep doing different voices every time. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Clooney just went crazy. Well, he is an old man. Time, he's like, grandfather, why do you sound so stupid? Because he's old. Old people sound strange. But he's very good looking. <laughs> Uh, Pankaji, would you like to come with us to Beggar's Cove, or would you like to stay here with your grandfather and help build? I think I should help you speed up the shaman hut. Yes. I yeah, think that's, that's what I should idea. do, because we really need a healer near us. Yeah, that's true. Like, is there <laughs> anything else left to do in my island, for, you know, later on? Because we yeah. we have... I mean, there's a lot to explore, right? So I'm sure we need the shaman near us so that we don't have to keep resting for days. So it's better if I stay and help build the hut so that it goes faster. Can I do that? Can yeah. it go faster if Absolutely. I Absolutely. And you can protect the town if another ogre attack happens. Oh, I hope that no ogre goes back to find, like, the, you know, the ogre sleeping. That is it. Well, I'll stay. Bye, guys. Please bring some good rum back for me. Okay. okay. I'm soaked <laughs> up in my beard, you know? Like, I want to soak in my beard and just, like, press it down. Like, and like... <laughs> uh, I, I take the, the conch shell, and I, I don't know, if, can I do this? Like, hack off the very, very tippy end with my dagger? Will you let me do that? Why would you do that? So that you can go. Can't you do that without that? No, because it unless I mean like unless it's broken, right? I don't know. Every conch shell that I've ever had, you didn't. I mean, I guess did they come? Were they broke? I don't know. Uh, yeah, you can you can turn it into a horn, no problem. Okay, I turn it into a horn, and I say, "You are now the first line of defense. You warn people with this horn if there's danger." Okay, and I give it to her. That's our special call. And if we're anywhere close, we'll come running, but we won't be anywhere close, so, you know. We'll come sailing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, keep them safe, Pantaji. We will see you soon. Farewell. Yeah. Should we break? Bye. 8.30? Yeah. yeah. Let's break. Let's break. So, we'll see you guys in five minutes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Everyone wave goodbye. Bye.